comes back up and we were talking <laughs> yes, you. Well, we were talking about fish, so we did salmon. Now we want to talk about halibut, but also um, this really interesting program that's happening right now yeah. at Sobeys. This is the coolest thing. Sobeys came to me and were telling me about this program and I just I almost fell off my chair. I mean like because the reality is we want to know where our products are coming from. They have traceable fish now. Basically, they have products in their store that you can actually go and look at the code. You go on to um, thisfish.info, punch in the code, and it pulls up the fisherman's name, you know, the name of his boat, um, when it was caught, how it was caught. You know, you could trace this right to your, you know, basically your dining room table. I think that's amazing because so many of us here time and time again, you know, you want to get a certain type of fish, you want to get sustainable fish, you want to get wild yes. fish, not farm, and you don't know, you don't really know what yeah. the label and the packaging in well, the store is saying. You, you don't yeah. know and what's I, I real and what isn't. So a lot of people nice might say, it. what's the point of this, what do I really need to know, but as consumers, we need to take responsibility for what we're, um, is on the market. Right. And I think us going over and saying, you know, we like this organic thing, we like better steaks and better things at the, at the grocery stores, the grocery stores are listening. Yes. The Sobeys is the first store to ever actually say, you know what, um, we know where our fish comes from and yes. we're going to share that with you. And you can actually, I mean, I think... So, so the, we know where this exact yeah. fish came from. So the one I'm cutting today, I that mean, one. it's uh, Mark Lutner. It's his, Mark yeah, fish. His boat is the Western Mist, is in British Columbia. I mean, how cool is this? That is so cool. You know? I mean, it I, was out there fishing for you, and now it's on your plate, and you're say, eating Mark, it. Mark, this fresh. is fantastic. So uh, wherever you are, like, you know, a good job. Not bad, you know? Mark. You did a great job. I think it's great. Yeah. So the cool thing is now is you'll be able to go on that website, and then there's going to be some recipes on there as well from me to be able to help you ah, kind of do something with that. Oh, very good. Yeah. So you can help us out at home. That's what I'm there for. You know, you know, these high tech kitchens, you need a high tech chef to come along That's with it, right? right. So, I've always said right. that. I've always so, said so that. So let me show you a really halibut. cool salad. Yeah, we've got this beautiful halibut from Mark, who's done a great job. So um, what we do is take some chilies, some ginger, mm -hmm. and a little bit of olive oil. Okay. This is this is a cure all as well. Those things are very good for you to stave off colds and flu and all that kind of I stuff. I was right? thinking, you know, after eating bacon for you know forty odd years, you need a cleanse once in a while. Every right? once so, in a while. You know, no, but uh, you know, these it is, and I think it's a uh, the great thing too is it's a uh, it's a big powerful punch. You know, you just throw your halibut in there like that, and actually you can slice it down nice and thin if you like. Okay. Just like this, just lay them in, but you just want to kind of put it in there and leave it for a couple hours. Now, when I always say marinate things, please remember, I'm saying marinate in the fridge. Uh, we don't want to leave fish on the counter for a couple of hours. And, no. You know, then it's got that nice kind of aroma that's kind of coming along. <laughs> um, but just marinate it like that, and then once it's done, what you can do is, you know, it ends up being beautiful like that, right? Okay. Then I've got some pistachios, and I love this recipe because it's so easy. So yeah. we're going to make it crusted. Yeah. Crusted halibut. But you're not looking for a perfect batter here. You're just looking for some flavor on there, so just like that, you know. Just simply coat them off. You know what I think that why that's so great is that the people that the, the couple of people that don't like fish sometimes it's a texture thing. Yeah. And yeah. it's nice when you can put you know some kind of a crunchy exterior on your fish and it's still good for you. Well, and this is a salad that we're making, so it's something different rather than mm -hmm. just eating greens all the time, right? Right. So then on top of that, I've added some great. You know, I just took some of those beautiful marinade artichokes. You know, again, we want to make things simple here, so you can buy them. Yeah. Just score them down, maybe quarter them up, but they're already cooked, ready to go, tasting fantastic. So you just lay them in a little dish like this, take some nice sea salt, sprinkle over top, a little bit more olive oil, and then turn your broiler on. I don't think a lot of people use their broilers in their ovens because they're afraid they're going to burn things. Well, yeah. this is already marinated in oil and things like that, so you get them in there, char it, and it's not going to kill it at all. And how long, I mean, if you're using your broiler, I'm one of those people you're talking about. I never use it. Broiler is something you watch. You're watching it. You have it. to watch it. Yeah. I, um, I actually used to have a, an old electric oven, and I used to put things under the broiler, come back six weeks later, and it was starting to get warm, you know. Um, and, and then I went and bought myself a beautiful new uh, gas stove, uh, put some bread under there, let, turned around, burnt it, and of course, Meg comes over and goes, you can't make toast? What do you do for a living? You know, so, anyway. So, some beautiful artichokes like this on the plate. Keep it simple like that. I've got some great little arugula leaves. Look at that. I love arugula. It's got that little spiciness to it. I think Joey's happy you know? about this recipe. Yeah. Don't you think? This uh, would make her yeah. proud. Yeah, look at that. Perfect. It's very, very, it's good for you. Uh, like that. And then, of course, uh, I know it's fish, but it's still... Are you going to put some bacon on, on it? There, so we got some prosciutto <laughs> on there. Right on! You were doing so well. I know, but we didn't have prosciutto in the last recipe. That's it's fine. Prosciutto. You know I'm not mad at you. I a think it's a great thing. A little bit of aged balsamic over top. Oh, good oh, combo. Look at this that. drooling just a little bit. Yeah. And there you just go. A little bit. That is a beautiful little salad. Healthy. Yeah. Fresh. 
And I think Mark would be proud, don't you think? I think oh, Mark sorry. would be so proud. Captain Mark. Captain Mark would be yes. very proud. I think it's an incredible program. Oh, Hopefully more grocery stores will follow that lead. And thanks to Sobeys, our audience will have the chance and the opportunity to try the traceable and sustainable fish. You're all getting a gift card for $25. For sure. Enjoy.